I wouldn't normally do this, but I found out I was pregnant last month, but I lost my job due to the pandemic. I'm really scared about the future, so anything would really help. Thank you. Hang on, let's zoom in on this picture. Oh, kind of looks like this is fake. You can see the Sharpie lines on the top on the window. Wow, that's a terrible job. It's not even peed on, girl. Why are the lines drawn on? Just curious. Yeah, look, a picture to send my mother, but the lines were so hard to see. Her eyesight is really bad, so marked over it so she could see them. Yeah, sure, that's exactly what happened here. That's why that strip is completely white and you drew in Sharpie over the top. Because your mom. Yeah, okay, it has nothing to do with the fact that you just want free money from other people for no reason. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash quit your BS. Let's get into it. This is a sign located in my high school's student services office. Dear girls, dressing immodestly is like rolling around in manure. Yeah, you'll get attention, but mostly from pigs. Sincerely, real men. I'd report that. Oh, hang on, before you report it, it's really not though. This exact image and title was posted here a year ago. Oh, these people, man, they just rip anything to try to get some upvotes on Reddit as if nobody's gonna fact check that, oh, this actually was posted at your school. Well, two clicks later, they find out, oh, you were straight capping and now you look like a fool. Nice. Got an apartment after being homeless? for several months. Wow, so inspiring. Except for the fact that this dude is karma farming. Post he just deleted when he got called out. And his post history included a lot of deleted posts with contradictory stories. Oh, these people literally hop on Reddit and just take the personality of like 50 different people on the internet and post all their stories as their own, as if they're never gonna get caught. Like, ah, oh, it's just so sad. How boring is your life that you have to go pretend to be somebody else just to get some upvotes on Reddit? Which, I mean, honestly, don't mean that much. One star. Terrible customer service. If I could give them a zero, I would. I'll be shopping online from now on. Response from the owner. Hi, I'm sorry you feel that way. You and your friend both came into our store without masks on despite the fact that it's posted on the door that masks are mandatory and is also mandated by the state. We asked you nicely if you could put a mask on and you said no. We then asked if we could give you a free mask to wear and you said no. We then asked you to leave and you resisted. After telling you that the store is private property and you're required to leave, you threatened us. We still offered to help you outside the store 16 people have passed from the VED in the last two weeks in our county. We care tremendously about our staff, our families, our customers, and our business. We've lost a tremendous amount of money from a two-month closure, and other businesses have been forced to close for good. Most of our staff have someone at high risk in our immediate family. Is it really bad customer service to ask you to wear a mask in our store or go elsewhere? Writing a nasty review on every source you can find will not stop us from protecting what is important to us. We wear masks for eight hours straight to protect people. It doesn't seem like asking you to wear one while you're in our store is too much to ask. Well, I mean, the good thing here is you completely bodied them and you're gonna get tons of publicity from this. So if anything, this absolute Karen helped your business which I'm sure she's super enraged about, which is hilarious. <laughs> uh, just imagine you go to this business and you go, I'm not wearing a mask. You get kicked out. You go, you know what? I'm taking this business down because they're unreasonable. And then in your attempts to take them down, you boost them up. Oh, she's so mad. I love it. Aaron Andrews has been on the sidelines for almost 20 years. What Andrews heard from Tom Brady and others in the NFL opener left her shocked. Aaron Andrews, it didn't leave me shocked. Who said that? 
we were talking about a lack of crowd noise and how you could hear everything. <laughs> oh man, just get called out. You can't put words in somebody's mouth on Twitter that's this famous and not expect somebody to tag them in this and go, hey, did you say that? And then when they respond, now what are you going to do? No, uh I swear you said it. I don't have proof, but it just seems like something you'd say. <laughs> oh, people that just do this stuff to get likes or upvotes or whatever are so lame. Get a life, dude. Edward Snowden agrees to give up more than $5 million from book and speeches to the U.S. government. He responds, CNN badly misreported this. A. This is not a settlement. I didn't agree to it. B. The judgment from this censorship case is not enforceable while I'm in exile. But I've never had that much money anyway. Better headline. U.S. could gain up to 5 mil by pardoning Edward Snowden. Oh, so what you're saying is they completely misrepresented what the whole entire thing was about? Yeah, for some reason, I'm not shocked. Even a little bit. One star. We had cookies and cream ice cream from Cones today, and both of my kids are vomiting ever since. The ice cream tasted old and stale. Um, okay, but we've been closed this entire week. I'm not sure where you got your ice cream from. Hope your kids are feeling better. Um, I would take them to the doctors, like, ASAP, because if somebody was impersonating this business, you ate that ice cream, and now your kids are sick? Sounds like there could be something way worse going on here. So, yeah, get them to the doctor ASAP. Don't worry about this business. Twitch.tv slash this username often likes to explain why he does things and decisions he makes. He also says the mistakes he made and what he could have done instead. Very helpful and also plays at immortal rank. Check him out if you want to learn. Not a big streamer, so interactive and you can ask him questions or advice. Dude, that's literally you. Not only is your username similar, but if you click on your profile, it shows you posting videos from your YouTube channel. Why are you talking in the third person? I like to talk in third person sometimes, haha. <laughs> Cringe. Maybe, but cute, right? Just stop. Oh, this man totally messed up. He realizes it when he gets called out and he plays it off as something that he just likes to do. Yeah, I just love to go around talking in the third person. It really does something for me. Yeah, sure, it had nothing to do with you trying to relentlessly promote your stream <laughs> as if it's somebody else that was really enjoying it. Oh, uh, yeah, this person was right. It is just cringe. She told me she had something important to show me. My mom just texted me a portrait she got of her cat. Oh, that's so cute. Except you're a liar. Here's proof. <laughs> uh, reverse image search kind of sucks for these people nowadays. It's harder to get away with stealing other people's stuff, isn't it? Hmm. Wah. Today I learned that my mother was a designer on the original Pong game. She's in her 70s. How cool is that? Here are a couple of her old coding books. And my empty glass. Um, didn't the original Pong run off logic chips rather than code? Seems a bit fishy. Maybe. Your mom... Isn't the person who invented Pong? Oh, dude, like, what, now you're just trying to get clout off of your mom? Are you kidding me, dude? How about you just do something clout-worthy and you'll get all the attention you want and desire. Otherwise, just peace off, mate. Your Netflix binge-watching makes climate change worse, says experts. The emissions generated by watching 30 minutes of Netflix is the same as driving almost four miles. <laughs> yeah, except it's not. You're wrong. A server hour can cost less than one cent, all included. Netflix probably can serve multiple customers at one cent per hour. Even if all that costs is energy bills, which it's not, there's real estate, capital costs, and markups included, that's about 0.1 kWh. Four miles at 0.41 kg per mile is 1.6 kg of CO2, 
0.1 kWh of electricity at 0.4483 kg per kWh is 0.04483 kg. So, watching an hour-long Netflix movie emits at least 36 times less CO2 than driving 4 miles. It emits maybe as much CO2 is driving 150 yards or meters? Oh, so what you mean is this person just got completely bodied for sharing completely fake stuff. Like, uh, how are you gonna post this and then get bodied this hard and just leave it up? Oh, embarrassing. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash quit your BS. Before we go, I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. PD, Dark Phoenix, Affinity Studios, and Broken Button Games. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It means a lot. And if anybody else wants to support the channel, there will be a link to the Patreon down below and also a link to the Discord down below. Till next time, guys. Peace.